A divorce is devastating enough, but a custody battle, well, that's something else again. And as nearly half of all marriages fail, you can imagine how many children end up in broken homes. These days, though, custody's just the beginning. After that comes access, the new family battleground. Currently, there's a general legal formula. Usually the courts rule that the mother should have the children for 80% of the time, the father 20%. But for many dads, that's simply not fair. They want equal time, 50-50 access. See you, baby girl. See you. Wednesday. Okay. It's often bitter, always painful, and when there are children involved, it can be devastating. But for Australia's legal system, who gets the kids is simply a matter of maths. For 30 years, the family court has been dishing out 80-20. 30 years. There's a whole generation of uh, children that have, that have grown up without their fathers. There's a whole generation of men out there that, is, that have witnessed this injustice and uh, they, they've had enough. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Trevor Arthurson and his wife split up five years ago. You think we're going to get any more? Before the breakup, he saw his daughter every day. Now it's every second weekend and half the school holidays. Who says it's best for children to live with mum? If, uh, if there's nothing wrong uh, with the relationship between a father and, and the child or the mother and the child, then why not 50-50? Guys, we uh, normally have a, uh, a moment of silence that we ask you to think about the five males a day that suicide in this country. Trevor Arthurson is not alone in his call for fathers to have the option of 50-50 access to their children after a divorce. Uh, what gives anyone the right to deny children the access to their dad or, or their dad access to their children? Nearly every day of every week, heartbroken dads around Australia are coming together. It's hard to sit here and talk tonight and keep it together, but. I'm getting there and I want you to know I'm going to be OK and it's going to be thanks to your help but I'm going to be OK. They're coping with the breakup of their marriages uh, and the loss of their children. They have yep, limited access and even exactly. less hope. It still hurts because I still love them and I'll never stop loving them. The hurt is incredible. And uh, I've been there, I've experienced the pain. I've been in that hole and it's a dark, dark place and it was shocking. And uh, some, some dads don't make it out the other end. What do you hope for your child and for other children out there? More time to be a real dad. Not just a weekend babysitter. Feels like I've been demoted from from dad to um, to just a a babysitter every second weekend. Does a father have the right to see his children when he wants? No. Why? It is not about fathers' rights. It is about parental responsibility and children's rights. Oh, you know what we're doing today? Kathleen Swinborn is a divorced mother of three who reckons men should stop complaining and start accepting that the current system works. Kathleen, who's president of the Sole Parents Union, has had full custody of her children for the past decade. You don't have 50-50 even where parents live together. So why should you expect it when you're separated? What do you think motivates some fathers about going for 50-50? In a lot of cases it is love for their children. Yes, they love their children. Yes, they want to be with their children, but in many cases they haven't really thought through the consequences. Caring isn't just about being there at bedtime to read them a story. It's a lot more than that. It's about giving up a lot of your life for a long time while your kids are young. Yes, they get older, then things change, but you have to put those arrangements in place. Look, I think that, uh, that argument is a, an argument of a bygone era. Okay, more men today now want to spend time with their children. Men can share the responsibility of nurturing and protecting their child and men want that responsibility, but they're being denied it by legislation which can be simply overturned by parliament. 
Welcome once again, Rod Hardwick, the President of Dads Australia to 2GLF. Rod Hardwick is a Good passionate morning, advocate Mark. of shared parenting. Equal parenting is the win-win situation in any family separation. He has a weekly community radio show in Western Sydney called Dads on the Air. 50-50 Parenting should be the default. Where and he's founded a national support group called Dads Australia. It is the child's fundamental right to be cared for by both a mother and a father. The current system that we've got okay, discriminates against fathers from loving and nurturing and protecting their children. Rubbish. In a word, they're not discriminated against. Now, if you go to court, if you look at the court stats... Fathers win custody cases in 40% of the time. Now, that's not necessarily full custody, but that might not be what they're going for. Look, the family court when it first... Rod Hardwick's views stem from personal experience. Five years ago, his then-girlfriend fell pregnant. In my case, it was a situation where uh, I have never seen my daughter. She's four and a half. And... Uh, I sat down with my parents and we, we looked at it and it was going to cost us hundreds of thousands of dollars to get court orders that would never be, that could never be uh, ratified by court, not ratified, that would never be enforced by court if they were broken. So we sat down and we said, well, we'll fight another way and we'll fight for change so that one day my daughter will recognise that what we did and what I did, yeah, that we will be, uh, one day, yeah, that one day we will spend time together. As in all breakups, there are two sides to this story. In a letter to us, the mother of Rod's child said there was nothing stopping him seeing his daughter. But then custody battles are nearly always messy and often nasty. I wonder why. In London this week, Tony Blair was pelted with a condom filled with purple powder, thrown by a member of the radical men's group Fathers for Justice. Order. This house is now suspended. Oh, They've taken their battle, not just to Parliament, but to the streets. And they draw their inspiration from Sir Bob Geldof. The love of a man for his child, which is the real love that dare not speak its name, the love of a man for his child, a father for his child, is equal to the love of a mother for his child. It is precisely equal. It could be expressed in different ways, but it is equal. In 1995, Bob Geldof began a long, costly legal battle for shared parenting of his daughters, who were then in the care of his ex-wife, Paula Yates. I was handed a piece of paper saying, you may see your children on this day and every second weekend. Why? What had I done? I saw them every day. I took them to school. I bathed them. I fed them. I cooked for them. I read their stories, I cuddled them before going to bed, I listened to them in sleep. Why now was the state and all its instruments of justice, but in this case I thought discrimination, why were they all aimed at me? Family court has gone mad, kids need both their mum and dad. Fathers for Justice is now taking hold in Australia. Wash your hands, please, after you use the family court. It's a dirty, dirty... In Brisbane, Trevor Arthurson and other fathers recently picketed the Family Law Court. The people have got to look into this properly. It's not getting looked into properly. No, hey, we're, we're here, OK? There's a lot of help out there. Yeah, don't... don't. I'm just sick of it. I've been yeah. fighting for too long now. Yeah. Hey, guys, guys fight this for so many years, mate. So many years. So many years. But what you've got to do. I can't do no more. No, no. But now for the first time, one of those statistics, mate. Is here you want 50 50? You want that legislated? <clears throat> I, I would like to see 50 50 legislated so that we can enter, uh, separating couples can enter the negotiation of um, custody on an equal footing. At the moment, I don't feel that there is an equal footing because the assumption is that 80-20 is the best that any man can hope for. Do you want to keep them mum yeah. Sunday night? Yeah, Sunday night's fine and I'll... Um... Take them to school. Well, yeah, OK. So can 50-50 parenting work? And, uh, so when Maria and that's Ewan that's Gemmell divorced three years ago, they decided it was the best solution. Got uniform? Yep. Socks, cardi, school cardi. 
There were no lawyers, no family law courts, just a shared custody plan for their children, Bridget and Callum. Ewan would probably say the same. We'd quite happily be able to like to shake hands and say, you know, have a great life, you know, it didn't work, you know, best mm. of luck. Mm. But we can't do that. That's never been an issue because we have the children. So, you know, it's in our best interest to make it work, to, to have a, you know, get, you know, a reasonable sort of relationship. See you, baby Good on girl. You, mate. After their marriage ended, Ewan and Maria agreed to stay living in the same area. Okay. Every second week, their children moved from mum's house to dad's. Kids want or would like a relationship with both parents, and that's what we've tried to offer them. When our mother went down to the town for the day... But whether 50-50 is for everyone is a different matter. It is wrong, isn't it? The water's beautiful. Kathleen Swinborn's children love their dad, but not the idea of living with him half the time. Have you heard of the concept of 50-50? Yeah. yeah. Would you yeah. ever want that way? No. no. It, it'd be way too hard. It'd, we'd be split between two houses, we'd be split between two friends and two social activities and um, most of my friends from school live here instead of where my dad lives. Too hard. Way yeah. too hard. And that seems to be the attitude of the federal government as well. A recent parliamentary inquiry suggested extra mediation for parents battling over their kids, but stopped short of recommending shared custody. Shared custody is not the same as shared parenting. You can be an involved parent. You can have access to your children. You can have equal love and equal responsibility and input without actually living with them equal time. Shared custody is about parents. It's not about kids. Let's put the children's interests first. All the research shows that children who are raised in a 50-50 environment are, are, are doing better than children from a single parent environment. Let's not get caught up in the bitterness and the resentment of a, a family dispute and let's start thinking about children. Perfect world you're painting here. But we can make it happen. What would be the, the perfect scenario for you? Oh, if, if she were here half the time and I could be... A Trevor Arthurson dad, intends to continue the fight. Dad, he awesome. won't give up hope. At his home, his daughter's bedroom is always kept made up and ready. Every Sunday afternoon, there's just that, that little twinge that harks back to the, the, the time of separation. I've driven past her place overnight and just just waved. You do that often? No, I don't do it often. Why? Because it hurts too much. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.